Today we got not one, but two awesome two-pack figures from NECA Toys. These are, of course, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles cartoon line. We've got Tall Thug and Short Gangster, and we got Grunt and Jersey Red. These are the latest releases for the Target Holothon 2023. Uh, there was a load of turtle figures that all came out at once, and I grabbed them all. I'm a huge fan of this line. I mean, I had to have them for completion's sake because this is the rest of Bebop and Rocksteady's gang, so we had to have them. Packaging looks like every other two-pack that's ever been released from NECA Toys. You know, you got your glam shots on the side, you got your little cross cells on the back, as well as your, you know, accessorized versions of the characters on the back as well. Um, here is the barcode there for Jersey Red and Grunt. Here's the barcode for Tall Thug and Short Gangster. Now, Tall Thug and Short Gangster, their names on the cartoon was Dopey and Dumbo, and I'm sure for legal reasons they can't call them Dopey and Dumbo because I'm sure they would get uh, a sternly worded letter from Mickey Mouse and company, so hence we got Tall Thug and Short Gangster. Each one of these two packs was $59.99, so keep that in mind, $60 for the two pack. So let's go ahead and get these guys out of their plastic prisons and check them out up close and personal. First up, we have Tall Thug, AKA Dopey. Uh, the hat is attached to him, classic paint scheme with the darker cartoon cell shading on the back side and the lighter paint on the front. Uh, he actually does have painted pupils underneath the brim of the hat there. The collar is soft rubber, so you don't have to worry about snapping off the lapels or anything like that. Articulation, so the arm's gonna go up and out. 360 degree rotation at the shoulder. He's got double jointed elbows. Swivel there at the forearm, 360 degree rotation at the wrist as well as a hinge uh, upper body does have a little bit of a crunch head does look down looks up side to side it's on a ball joint 360 degree rotation legs ball and socket joint so you can get a nice split on him kick him forward kick him back he's got double jointed knees so he can essentially kick his own butt uh, we've got a boot cut there at the shin pivot and hinge at the foot and then peg holes at the bottom of his feet uh, they are indented boots there, so bouncing him sometimes is a little bit tricky, but is not as hard as some of the female characters in the line. So that is Dopey compared to his little buddy here, aka Short Gangster, um, otherwise known as Dumbo, aptly named of course because you know his short fat stature. Um, his articulation is going to be much less in consideration to tall guy over here just because you know he's a short stout character so he's got single jointed elbows shoulders gonna go out and you know up 360 degree rotation rotation there at the elbow rotation there at the wrist as well as a hinge head's really not gonna move too much just that's much up and down side to side 360 degree exorcist style midsection's all one solid piece it is not soft rubbery plastic you can spin his waist 360 degrees his legs are on a ball and socket joint, just like tall guy over here, but uh, yeah, because of his hips and his gut and everything, you're not really gonna get too much range of motion with his legs. I mean, that's as far forward as he's gonna kick. Single jointed knee, but you know, it does get a little bit of a bend there. Feet are gonna be able to hinge forward and back, rotate side to side, peg holes again, standard. Uh, so yeah. Minimal articulation for this guy in consideration, but you know, it is in line with what I would expect a, a figure of that stature to look like. Each one of them comes with loads of accessories. So let's go ahead and look at baseball bat. So gangsters gotta have weapons. So we got a baseball bat there. And then we have this uh, meat hook. Very, very scary looking meat hook. We have a chain, just whip people around with this metal chain. It's not plastic, actual metal. And we have the mutated face for tall guy. Get that overgrown elephant style trunk. Even has the gold earring still. So it's got a little bit of a gold earring there, but he's got a much more prominent hoop earring here on the mutated face. Get your classic C gripping hands so you can hold those weapons. Then we have a specific hand that is made just for the meat hook, so the hook can actually go in between the fingers there. Lastly, we have a mutated forearm there. 
go for tall guy. The fingers are all bunched together and forearm. So you just pop off hand right there, attach that for that completed mutated look. And then we have a mallet. Goes well with his character design. We got two replaceable arms. Both have sloth-like looking hands on them. Got the, the fur, but they pop off at the shoulder here on Dumbo. Put those arms in. And then we have this mutated face as well for him. This reminds me of Bluto from uh, the movie Labyrinth. Kind of dog face looking. So you just pop the heads off, put those arm on. And you have the mutated version of him. And of course we got some gripping hands as well for him. Next up we have Grunt, has his classic, uh, you know, Mad Max-esque uh, attire. You see a lot of this in classic 80s movies with uh, just stereotypical neo-gangsters. Uh, the vest is not glued to him at all, so you can actually remove that if you wish. Uh, same thing with his glasses, they have little notches on each side of his ear, so if you want to take these off completely. Um, his eyes are completely white underneath, they didn't give him pupils or anything, so I would you know, recommend leaving those glasses on. Got the nice solid mohawk articulation. He's gonna be pretty much the same as tall guy. Uh, good range of motion overall, just because of his tall slender body. Shoulders up and out. He's got a single jointed elbow as opposed to a double jointed elbow. Waist swivel, um, upper torso, lower torso. Can you know, twist independently of each other. Get a full split from this guy because of the ball and socket joints. You know, great range of motion forward and backwards. So go ahead and double joint his knees, knee pads. They feel glued on there as well. I could be wrong. Yeah, those are those are stuck on there. Uh, it's got a boot cut and then ankle rocking and pivot uh, down here at the bottom of his boots and then peg holes for him as well. All these figures are gonna have peg holes, but overall looks you know pretty menacing for a stereotypical gangster accessories for this guy so he's got a bladed katana weapon so that is uh, very threatening we have a aerosol spray can because you wouldn't be a gangster if you weren't doing graffiti under the bridge at least that's what the cartoons tell us and we have interchangeable hands for him of course we got those punching c gripping style hands for the weapon holding he's got basically two variations of them but they're very similar to one another so wouldn't really worry about them too much. Then we also have his mutated upper body as an accessory. So it has that super snake serpent. Uh, the head is very pronounced and elongated. The tongue is soft plastic, so you don't have to worry about it snapping off or anything like that. Uh, glasses are affixed to him. Mohawk, obviously much larger. Everything is much more prominent. Same chest piece on there, just stretched out. Elbow joints on him, nice claw rotation fingers, everything looks very menacing on this, you know, serpent version of him. No head articulation on the serpent, obviously, because it's just one solid chunk. Uh, so you're gonna pop off his upper body. See, we have the ball and socket spot right there. Pop this on, and you've got your mutated version of Grunt. Then, of course, we have Jersey Red. Bright red hair with the split down the middle, almost flat top looking. Uh, red hair, hence the name Jersey Red. She's got that barbell earring, bright red lipstick, the raised eyebrow expression. Uh, she's a thick woman through and through. So very wide hips. She's got the red bandana in the back pocket. Matches the, the boots. Cowboy boots. Uh, bouncing her is a bit tricky because she's got these cowboy boots on where it has the heel in this narrow front spot. So clearly she's a, a top heavy gal. So Trying to get her to stand on her own is tricky, as you can see, I'm struggling right there. Uh, she's got pretty good range of motion, articulation, shoulders up and out, 360 degrees. She's got a single joint at the elbow, so it can bend. Swivel, 360 degrees as well. Hinge, 360 degrees at the wrist, like normal. Head's gonna look down just a little bit. Up, pretty decent. Side, side, and then of course, 360 degrees. Her upper body spins independently so you can twist her um, her belly butt midsection is all one solid piece so there's no bending or twisting that portion the legs are on a ball and socket joint but that's as far as you can spread them as far as getting the splits or anything like that it's just her her hip area just 
prevents all of that. She got those thick thighs. So she got a single joint at the knee. Doesn't really bend too terribly far. Boot cut literally on the boots, which is nice. And then, you know, side to side and forward and backwards on the feet. So that is her articulation, very similar to, you know, our short gangster. She's just a little bit taller overall, but not by too much. Uh, weapons for her, she gets this giant laser gun. Then interchangeable hands for her. So she got the open grasping hands. Got one that's made to hold the aerosol can. And then she of course has her gun hand so you can put the laser gun on there, have that trigger finger. And thanks to these new releases, we finally have a completed look at Bebop and Rocksteady's gang in their mutated form. Now, I personally think this looks awesome. I love that we finally have all the figures collected and we even have the human forms now thanks to the other variations and accessories with these new two-pack releases. Let's go ahead and check out the human forms of the gang. And now at last we have the human form variation of Bebop and Rocksteady's gang. Uh, they look phenomenal, Jersey Red. I'm very excited to add her to the collection. A lot of these characters were only in a few episodes of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles cartoon, so we're, we're definitely getting into the deep waters territory of figure releases. But for $59.99, these two packs I think are exceptional. Uh, happy hunting, like I said, these are showing up in Target stores now, and they're also supposed to be available online via the costumes.com website. I'll put product links down in the video description box below. That is it for this video review. If you enjoyed the content, make sure you hit that like button. Share this video with your friends if you found the information helpful. And as always, thanks for watching, guys. It really means a lot.